in a couple, three or four weeks, we got new grads, okay? Well, the new grads come in, they go through a lot of training, they do trauma nurse uh, core course about how to take care of patients, and that's paperwork, and it's also doing scenarios on mannequins and things like that. But once they finish that, I bring them in here, and I yell at them for a while. And I, we bring in a patient, and I say, get me this, get me that, get me this, get me that. Well, why do, you want, why do you think I need that right now? Why didn't you do this before that? Don't you understand that that's important for me to get my job done? Don't you? I mean, it's, I mean, we, it's done in good humor, but I think it, it's intimidating. But because when the patient comes in here, it is intimidating. We want them to be uh, just like pit crews, practice and, practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. We practice as well, and we critique. Uh, just like anybody else does, if we have uh, a patient come in and if something wasn't as smooth as it could have been, then we, we work on that. We, you know, we go back to the person who might have missed that part of the lecture or didn't quite catch that uh, little innuendo of something. And, and it's not a, usually a big thing, it's just a little minor thing, but it, every little minor thing makes a huge difference, a potential of making a huge difference in, in patient outcome. Not just surviving. The other thing, I mean, you can survive a very bad car crash and end up a total invalid, okay? But the main thing is, if you survive, we want you to have quality of life too. And the quicker you take care of somebody, the more expeditious the care is, the, the more times you get it right and figuring out the right thing to do at the right time, the better chance that person has, has of recovering their full potential. And it's, and it's not, you can't just say that somebody came in your hospital and left alive. That's not, that's not saying a whole lot because they may be on a stretcher, on a ventilator, and when if you had done it a little bit different, they may have walked out. So, I, mean, there's, I mean, that's oversimplification and probably over dramatization, but there's, there's all those areas between that way and that way, and you want to get in there get them as close to the perfect way as you can. And it, it, takes, it takes a commitment to do that.